Hello, I'm Tremor Boria, and I've been murdering potatoes. We're just gonna get right into plant logic. Lighting. First thing we need, daylight sensor. That red cable right there connects to that daylight sensor we put on the roof. And we're gonna put a memory unit here. And the logic reader. Logic compare. Batch writer. This red cable right here comes in from our power network. Transformer, cause we don't want our logic leaking back. I don't think it would. Oh, it definitely would. I'm gonna wire this up and then I'm gonna show it to you because you don't wanna watch me wire it. Unless that's what's happening on the screen right now. Wired, right? Simple, easy. You don't need to wire up both sides of the memory unit, but I did cause I like the way it looks. Um. We're gonna set this, you know what? We're gonna use the labeler. We're gonna set this to like a thousand. 2,500. We're gonna set this to 2,500. The memory unit. We're gonna set the memory unit to 112.5 because that's what works on Mars. If you don't like my number, feel free to let me know in the comments. It might not work on all the planets. Logic reader in is daylight sensor. Variant will be solar angle right input one on the compare unit is gonna be the logic reader the out will be less and input two is gonna be memory logic memory the one twelve and a half yep the batch writer in will be the logic compare the out type is gonna be whatever kind of plant lighting you're using I'm using hydroponic station because I think they're pretty. I like the way they look. I don't have to justify myself. The out variant is going to be on. Sun's not out right now, but we're going to turn all that stuff on and nothing's going to happen. It's going to be really impressive. On. 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 Nothing happened. I guess I just stand here and wait for the sun to come out. There is a link in the description to the website that I stole this from. That's what the internet's for. Steal it. Learning stuff. Light came on. Look at me. I'm a genius. I need that sun to come up, though, or I didn't do it right. It looks like it's getting brighter. I'm fine with that. That's plant lighting logic. Yo. What other wisdom do I have to instill upon you today, you might be asking? Plant analyzer. I straight up murdered plants for two days trying to make this video. Like, I was just slaughtering potatoes left, right, and center. All of the information you need is written right there. I had the pressure in the room set to 55 because that should be perfect for growing potatoes, right? What was happening is the way I set up my stupid ventilation right here, there was a pressure drop below 50. But I didn't know that when I checked it with the analyzer, it was like, no, nah, you're good, bro. No, I wasn't. It was very not good, bro. <laughs> Plant analyzer. That's plants growing. End of the video. See you later. You have a good day. Thank you for watching. You want to see some cool stuff I built? The new update. The ice crushers create gas. So you need to vent it or it will break. And it doesn't tell you it broke. It just flashes an orange light. Fantastic, right? I looked around for an hour trying to figure out why my room filled up with smoke. Nope. Ice crusher. I put a rad. I don't think you need a rad, but I put one anyway. I, I want the plants to have warm water. I hid my pipes in the ceiling because I hate walking around on pipes. I don't care about walking around on cables, but walking around on pipes is annoying. And I have a shut off to all the ones we're not using. I don't think we need them, but I, I like them. This lovely little vent goes to that carbon dioxide tank. I get my carbon dioxide from the air because I'm on Mars. I've built a whole thing for harvesting the air from the atmosphere that we're not going to look at today because it's not done. It explodes a fair bit, so I, I just bring the tank in here. All the stuff for the AC unit is outside because it has to be. Um, Maybe we should take a look at that. I have one thing I did that might help somebody. This is the backside of that one. I put it underground. I think it's neat. I put a full tank of CO2 in it with a back pressure regulator that just goes to a vent. And that way, if it happens to hit whatever pressure, it just vents it instead of exploding. That's it. That's all I had to show you. <laughs>
and the expansion pipe because I kind of just like the way it looks. I don't know if it actually does anything. This is my giant airlock into the greenhouse. Why is it so big? I tried to make a three door one and I couldn't figure it out. I could not get two outdoors and one indoor. I just couldn't do it. I don't know. If you figured it out, you let me know in the comments and I will steal it and put it in a video. This is the new giant power vent. It works pretty well. I mean, this is a fairly big room, but they didn't make a giant passive vent, which I don't quite understand. I tried to hook two of these together. Couldn't figure it out. I don't get it, man. It's still the little pipe. No matter what, it is restricted AF. I have it going to three passive vents, but again, still through that little pipe. So this is that little room between the greenhouse and the base. I made it into a giant airlock. I didn't need to, but I've got like 20% carbon dioxide in here and no carbon dioxide in there. Also, I keep spray painting stuff in there. And then the, the pollution gets everywhere. My plants die. And I am a plant murdering mother. So we've got one giant vent that goes to six passive vents. And that seems to work pretty well. But also, still takes too long. And the only console is in here. So if I'm on that side of the door and I hit it, I have to wait for it pressurized the whole room. I don't want to do that. So I built secondary consoles which have another name that i don't think you're allowed to say on youtube and i put the purple lights in because i think they're pretty oh my god did i show you what i did with the base lighting probably not eh i mean you've probably noticed it but so i didn't like the lights directly in the base it was too bright and i just don't like them why is there so much air going that way why is this room 91 degrees here's an important tip with the air conditioner you have to turn it on so I built the whole framework above the base and put the lights out there. And I like it. I mean, it's nice. It's, yeah, see, the purple lighting looks way better at night. I think it's cool. It's like a uh, disco. I don't know. I'm not cool. I don't know cool things. And I built this little laboratory, which I think is cool. I'm going to start doing gene splicing with the plants. But uh, I haven't done that yet. And that won't be the next video either. The next video is going to be coding. That's all I have to show you. I built the greenhouse before they released the update with the new giant power vent. So I had to drain all this area out <laughs> with the regular power vent. That took a while. It took a whole day. Like IRL day. Not video game day. It was. That's the end of today's video. I hope this was interesting. You have a good day. Thank you for watching. Not all gamers are pro.